Hey guys, this guy here and today I'm reacting to the Dead by Daylight 7.7.1 bug fix patch. Uh, this released like a few hours ago as of recording this. Uh, anyways, so the only thing that I know of is from the title of a Scott Jung video, where which basically just said that a bunch of problems were fixed. I haven't played this game in so long. Um, this game takes a lot out of you this game is it's fun at first and then it just becomes incredibly infuriating at least for me in orange which is why we haven't been playing it much and why there hasn't been many gameplay videos of it i'm sure we'll go back to it eventually i don't know when but you know uh, content modifiers. Modifier Chaos Shuffle opens at May 16th on 11 a.m. Eastern Time. That's in 10 days, okay. This modifier op also features an event helm opening at the same time. I don't know if I'm gonna play it. I, I was considering playing through that Blood Moon event thing and I didn't, so. I don't know if I'm going to play for this modifier. I mean, I don't almost didn't even make a video playing my little Oni, so I don't know if I will or not. Uh, perk updates. Oh, they touch ultimate weapon again. Interesting. Now causes survivors within 32 meters of the lock or the scream and show their position. Bless based on the killer's position, then gain blindness for 30 seconds as before. Oh yeah, they were like tweaking it and then they said that um, it's update wouldn't come with that. They said that the uh, the ultimate weapons update would come at a later time because I think they still needed time to do some stuff with it. And now it's here, so that's cool. Bug fix is bug fixes audio. Fix an issue that caused the sound inside the Mori preview after previewing the nightmare or the rave. Fix an issue that caused Cyber to have overlapping voice lines in the Mori preview. Fix an issue that caused the Huntress inhuman brew cosmetic sounds to be too low. So I don't know if it's going to be in here or not, but I want to mention I found a game breaking, a game crashing bug. Um, I told Orange about it because the second time it happened, because the first time I thought it was a fluke. I don't know if it'll be mentioned in here, but I hope so. So if if you try to preview the Morty in the shop of that new Huntress skin, the like I think it's called the Wear Moose or Wear whatever the hunt the that one Huntress skin, um, instead of showing it to you, at least for me, it crashes my game completely. Um, so I sent Orange a message the second time that it happened, which was like a week or two later. I tried again. Basically being like, whatever you do, don't do this because it will crash your game. <laughs> um, so I hope it's in here. So I hope they fix that in here. That's that's the fix I'm kind of hoping for. I sent two crash reports to Behavior about it, and I'm sure uh, others will probably have as well. If you know, if I'm not the only one. Uh, characters potential fix for an issue that caused rubber banding when moving that is huge orange will very appreciate that as a killer main um i appreciate that as well that that, that is a huge fix if it works that is huge uh, fix an issue that caused a stutter at the end of several interactions. Okay, that's, I mean, that's not as huge, but I kind of get it. Fix an issue which allowed victors to be recalled sooner than 30 seconds after launching onto a survivor. is not supposed to be able to do that, so that's a good fix. Victor now glows red after downing an injured survivor with a pounce attack. Probably ends a cane, he'd be crushed. Okay. Victor can no longer latch on the survivors with the endurance as back. So it sounds like, it sounds like after the twins like like little rework that they did, 
which was just quality of life, which ended up just being quality of life improvements because she was too powerful with some of the other changes. Um, but yeah. Sounds like Victor uh, broke or sound a little bit. Um, fixing the issue that caused Victor to be unable to move after switching to Victor while a bot is crushing him. Okay. Fix an issue that may cause survivors to be unable to wiggle out when a click interaction is denied by the server. What does that mean? Fix an issue that caused the Xenomorph to be unable to have a survivor placing a turret with their tail attack. Fix an issue that caused the nurse to not be affected by pallet stuns. That's a good fix because fuck you nurse. <laughs> Fixing the issue that caused the survivor's left arm to jitter when in down state. I mean, that some of these are bigger than others. Like that one that I just read about the jittery arm, that doesn't matter towards gameplay. But some of them actually do matter, like the nurse fix, some of the uh, victor fixes, stuff like that. that... So a little bit of both, like things that don't really matter except for making it the game, you know, except for fixing some little like animation things and whatnot. And some of them that do matter. I prefer it when they matter because when they don't, it's not as interesting to read, but a little bit of both. That's good. Um, let's see where that'll leave off. Fix an issue to cause the Legion's post frenzy hand to snap upwards before entering the self stun animation. Uh huh. Perks. Toolbox is now properly loose charge when used to. Charge the potential energy perk. Didn't know that was a, okay. A UI fixing the issue when going back to the main menu from a play as killer offline lobby, causing the bottom button prompt to overlap. Fix an issue in the killer tutorial where two prompts could sometimes overlap. Fix an issue in the archives where the menu became invisible after watching a journal's entry cinematic. Fix an issue that where the killer name would be missing from the daily ritual, the hunt ritual. Environment slash mass, fix an issue in the Nostromo map where the nurse could blink and get stuck in the hole of the spaceship. Get fucked, nurse. Get fucked. Anyway, well, it's fixed now, but uh, get fucked in the past. Bitch. Fix an issue where the blight didn't bounce off wall properly in the Raccoon PD map. That's a problem. Fix an issue in Greenville Square where the traps could be placed under the ground next to the shack window. Huh. Fix an issue in Shattered Square where both pallets of the main building would spawn at the same time. Oh god! <laughs> Fix an issue in the RPD where the survivors could land on top of a door frame. Fix an issue in Larry's Hospital where the killer could not interrupt a survivor from one side of a generator. Fix an issue in Auto Haven Wreckers where Victor could jump through a sheet of metal in the shack. Fix an issue in Greenville Square where the double pallet tile didn't spawn. Fix an issue that may cause Meg to be unable to unhook Dwight during the Survivor tutorial. Fix an issue in Dead Dog Saloon where the player camera could clip into a rock. Oh, that sounds awful. Fix an issue in Colvin Barnes where the Cal Tree's vault tarp was missing. Fix an issue in Croton Prent Asylum where Trapper could hide bear traps into inside the rocky edge of the hill. Fix an issue in Area Cross where Trapper could hide bear traps inside the roots of the stone gazebo. Fix an issue in Hawking's Laboratory where super fluid, where super fluid collisions were affecting players' navigation near some closed doors and causing rubber banding. Fix an issue in Hawking's Laboratory where survivors could hide items in the floor near the storage room doors. Fix an issue in Haddonfield, where partners were collided with the car, mirrors, and experienced frustrating navigation issues. Can you tell this game is buggy? <laughs> Fix an issue in Haddonfield, where the end game collision cracks would appear on the ceiling of the balcony from one of the large houses. 
fixing the issue in Midwich Elementary School where the killer's vision could clip into a destroyed wall and see outside of the map. Fixing an issue in Racken City Police Department West Wing where Trapper could hide bear traps inside a pile of debris in the library. Fixing an issue in Racken City Police Department where players could climb on top of a duffel bag. Fixing an issue in Racken City Police Department East Wing where players could climb over the to onto the toilets. Fixing an issue in Tubba's Landing where the central computer console from the main base was popping with distance. Graphics. Fix an issue that caused bright flashes in the basement and in the and in the end game screen store. Fix or Excel offers cards now can be clicked entirely without players needing to click on the button. And miscellaneous fix an issue where items and add-ons would not get equipped automatically after previously running out of them. So I'm a little disappointed they did not fix the game crashing bug with that Mori that I was experiencing. So um so, little warning, do not do that. If you want to see that, Mori, either watch it online or play as Huntress with the skin if you have it. Because, um, I don't want, because until that gets resolved, you know, um, I wouldn't recommend looking at it, trying to look at it in store because it might crash your game. It does for me. But, oh well, a lot of things were broken. Um, I did not realize so much was broken. I mean, some of the graphics were broken. The fact that there were so many problems with maps. Um, the fact that there were so many bugs was like, um, with some of the characters, especially Victor. Victor had a ton of, um, fixes in this one. Uh, the fact, th they finally implemented that perk. They talked about the event a little, they talked about the, the next, um, game modifier a little bit and stuff. Like, that was crazy. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. This was honestly a, a well needed one. Was how many was how much like was the environment and maps they fixed and the UI and stuff. They fixed so much in this bug fix patch that I feel confident in saying it's very justified and this is hugely important. They fixed so many little problems that were um so I I understand why Scott Jones uh, video was titled that now because they, th they really did improve the game by a ton in this one. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell. Uh, do all, share the video, do all the uh, graphic garbage. It helps us out a lot, and it means a lot to us. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Boop.